So the first thing you're going to do, like you normally would, is in Premiere, you're going to go and you're going to create an XML. And as you know, in uh, Premiere, for whatever reason, they still have left it named Final Cut Pro XML, uh, despite the fact it doesn't work in Final Cut Pro X. And it worked originally in the original version of Final Cut Pro Studio, but they've never updated the name. For whatever reason, I'm not exactly sure. I think personally they should just rename it in the next update Premiere XML because this I think in itself creates a lot of confusion. But anyways, you're gonna go, you're gonna create an XML like you normally would, and you're gonna name that whatever you're gonna call it. And in this case, I already have an XML created. Then you're gonna go down and open Send to X. Now this is gonna be the tricky part. Uh, so this is where you'll be able to fix some of the problems that you might encounter. And that's uh, these black bars that appear on your media or the, your media appears black. It's there and it links up fine when you import it into Final Cut Pro X, but for whatever reason, some of the clips are black. So a lot of that has to do apparently with the frame rate your clip is recorded at and the camera even. And I haven't been able to term uh, an exact rhyme or reason so I have to play around with it a bit each time so you'll go up to the send X software and you'll see a drop-down menu here and then you go to preferences and uh, there's some preferences here and you have a few options here ignore the mp4 time code check for time code 24 hours and you can select these or unselect them or select one or select the other now I found that I've had to experiment with this. So for example, if I'm bringing in an XML to uh, send X to send a Final Cut Pro X, uh, it uh, sometimes will have the black clips and sometimes it won't. But uh, messing around with this or trying different things, typically I can get all my clips ingested. And to bring your XML into Final Cut Pro X from Premiere, it's very easy. You just go up into the menu to send X and you open. In this case, it's this one I've already created. So we'll choose that. And it's going to ask you uh, which project or library you want to bring it into. So in this case, I've already created one. So we'll just choose that and we'll press select. So now you have your converted XML from Premiere through send to X brought into Final Cut Pro X. And as you can see, our clips are all here. And this is great um, because sometimes you may want to start a project in Premiere and then bring it in FCPX and then bring it back to Premiere, but the clips are all there. And like I said before, if you do get these black clips where these clips are blacked out, go into the preferences and send X and try switching on and off the uh, MP4 um, time code, et cetera, and mess around with that a little bit. Um, the tech support actually from this intelligent assistance company is pretty good. I went on Twitter uh, once because I had an issue and they responded right away and they got it resolved and even offered to look at the project itself. So they're pretty hands-on. So I would really recommend, you know, giving this software a try. I think it's, it's fantastic, uh, especially if you're going back and forth as much as I am. All right, so you've now finished your project or whatever you're working on in FCPX and you want to bring it back into Premiere because that's what the client wants or you're going to finish it in Premiere or for whatever reason, you want to bring it back to Premiere. So you do that the same way you normally would in the sense that you would export an XML the way you would export a normal XML. So you'd go up and export your XML. So we'd go and we'd open up this software now, X to CC. We'd open up our XML that we created in FCPX. And it would bring up a somewhat similar screen. It asks us, you know, some questions. Do you want to keep some of the gaps? that FCPX creates um, and video, which video uh, role do you want to bring in and all clips, components, enable clips, etc. audio, 
volume levels and keyframes, etc. So we click OK. And then it basically creates a new file name. And this is it. And it's going to send it to the same destination folder. So we'll save that. Now we're back in Premiere and we can import our XML. All right, so there you have it. All the footage is there, everything looks great, no black bars, everything's viewable. So there is your tutorial on how to get timelines and projects back and forth between FCPX and Premiere.